Tommy Lee. So been here 43 years. Yeah, 43 years this time. Actually, I've been on Oda Banks just about all my life, off and on. So, yeah, since since the year I was born. So, I was born in Norfolk. So, yeah, lived there for a while. Uh, went to school there. I lived with my grandparents up there. Well, my dad's father was from Currituck. So, he had two farms down in Tulsa Creek. I mean, of course, we always came here all the time. They vacationed here all the time. We had a place here in Kitty Hawk uh, since, I guess, the late 40s, early 50s. Washed away in 1973 in February in a snowstorm. Lived in Kerala for about six or eight months. That was in 1963, 64. So then went back up into Virginia, worked up there until I worked in shipyard up there until I got laid off. So then I had to, looking for a job, actually find one here, uh, a boy in Kitty Hawk, working for him. So we moved here in uh, 73, been here ever since. Living in Kerala, was, it was nice. It was different, there weren't a whole lot of people around. So, and it was, Fun. Even though I was working there, I had plenty of time to get around, explore. So, yeah, it was really nice. Liked it. Three kids, three girls, well, son and daughter, stepdaughter. Thirteen grandkids and ten great grandkids. Most of them are here. So, all of the now, all of the great grandkids are here. So. Unfortunately, most of them live in Kitty Hawk and Southern Shores. <laughs> None of them live in Kill Level Hills, but, eh, you know. Friend of mine, neighbor, was, he came down, he was living here, came down from Virginia Beach, and he had been a volunteer fireman in Virginia Beach. And he got in fire department here, and he got me into it. Told me I needed to come down, so go through a meet and see what it was like, see if I liked it, which I went with him and did. Been there ever since. So, and that was in 1973. We've come a long way. Fought it good. Most of it. <laughs> Most of it. When I first joined, the fire department was right next to town hall. It was all one building, and uh, which is where it fire department is now. Part of it was the original town hall. And we had two bays, two trucks. We met in the basement, which we called a dungeon, which it was then. It was a bomb shelter. And that's where we met. Since then, of course, you know what we have now. We have got three bays, we've got truck, three engines, nice day room, bunk room, for the guys that live in, they have all the offices down there. So we've come a long way in that respect. I remember the, probably one of the first times that we ever really stood by on a standby basis at the, uh, at the fire department, rather than staying at home you know, and going out one call. I, it, we had a limited water source at that particular time, back in the early 60s, before the water department really got going good, and something happened, the pumps were down or something like that. Anyhow, the water was out for a while, Chief Guard figured that maybe we should get a crew to stand by the station, just in case something happened. And I think that's the first time I remember ever going up and spending the night there, staying there all night. It was four or five of us that did that. And since then, it turned into be a fairly regular thing up until the parade crew come along. When I first joined the fire department, we, um, a lot of it went by word of mouth. Uh, you called people. We had what they called, the way we got notified of a fire, they had what they call a fire phone. And it had a special ring. You had to have a private line to be on it. And they would, 
set that off, Sheriff's Department would set that off in Manio and tell you where the fire was, what it was. And then you were assigned to call different people, different members to let them know they had a fire. We also had a siren on the building that would go off and you could hear that anywhere in time. But, and then of course we graduated to the electronic pagers and even through the Sheriff's Department then, or the, and then it, we got our own. So it's come a long way from what it was. Have a whole lot more calls now than we used to. We save a whole lot more stuff than what we used to. And that's due to, I think, being having more people here. Used to, especially in the winter time, when we would get a call for fire, it was usually through the roof before anybody even knew it was on fire. It was pretty much lost before we even got the call. Nowadays, it's not that way, of course. Of course, we had it. You know, it's more people, better detection services and things like that. So I think we save a whole lot more than what we used to in terms of property. And I've had a good time. I've enjoyed it. Met a lot of nice people, made a lot of friends. I wouldn't trade it for anything.